The first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, welcome to DIY Repair Now. Today we're going to be working on a Whirlpool top load washer. And the problem that we have with this washer is that the customer said that it's going off balance, that it's basically walking. And as you see, this is the test. If you push it down and if it bounces more than once, that means the shocks needs to be replaced. So that is a very easy indication that your shocks needs, needs to be replaced if it bounces more than once. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace the shocks on this top low Whirlpool washing machine. And we're gonna go ahead and start by removing these three screws that holds this top whole uh, panel. And this cover that covers the uh, fill tube and the wiring. Also, I do this repair all the time. This is the part number, by the way, as you see on the picture, in case you want to order it, always check your part with your model number of the washer or any appliances that you're working on. This is the brand new um, shocks. And this is how we're going to go ahead and remove the top panel to be able to access to the old shocks. As you see, you have to pull it towards you. So pull it towards the forwards the front and then raise it up a little bit to unclamp it from a hook which I'm going to show you in this picture so you raise it up a little to release it from that hook and then push it back and then you're going to be able to release it from the other hook as well and be able to lift it up once you got it out you put it towards you you release it and then you're going to go ahead and put some tape to hold the lid the door that way that door doesn't fall on you while you're working on the um, shocks so just remember go ahead and put some any any tape that you have in the house electrical tape duct tape don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and try to adjust the washer that way you can lean the top panel to be able to access to the shocks. Now we're gonna go ahead and start removing the first one. As you see, this one, I'm doing it by hand, but sometimes it's heavy. So you're gonna need some vice grips. Not all the time you're gonna be able to do this by yourself. So if you have somebody to help you, it's okay. But in this case, I'm trying to do this by myself. I do it all the time remove this um, old piece and go ahead and install the new one try to use gloves when you use when you do this repair because they got sharp edges that's how the old piece work and this is the new one is a little different so just watch this video a couple times because you're not going to be able to fit the new piece like the old piece you see this one has an angle to be able to go in this one you just light it in see you see a little difference there this one you just put it there the other one will not do that because it has the little secure piece so go ahead and follow this video to be able to do this repair right now we're doing the other one as you see i'm trying to manage this um by hand but to be able to install the new ones you're going to be able to you have to use some vice grips like i'm showing you in the video like so i'm just doing this as a demonstration but you will see me using this vice grip to be able to install the new ones that's how you do it and that was just for demonstration now we're going to go ahead and remove this piece however i'm telling you Please use gloves and long leave because that piece it is very sharp. I cut myself plenty times. So once you do that, you can cut yourself around that hole. So use gloves to be able to do this repair and some uh, long leaves um, shirt because it's sharp edges everywhere. This is the front shocks. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the old one. That's how you remove the old one. It comes out once you tilt the washer back. You just put them 
on the side and go ahead and bring the new shocks in and this is how you put them in place you see it has like a round piece plastic plastic piece right there just make it hold it in place once you uh, got bolts in place just go ahead and bring the washer down and work on the top I already got the two front of the shocks I tilt the washer back to be able to get to it install the new plastic pieces go ahead and set that in place yes to make sure don't mix it with the old ones in this case the old ones are different so it's no way to get confused but you just don't want to take that chance now we're gonna go ahead and grab the old shot um, with the vice scripts and make it come out like that put the new piece in place like so and release your vice scripts sometimes I adjust those vice grips too much and you will, ha you will have to use another plier to be able to release them and keep using it as you see right there I grab the, sh uh, the shock metal piece and make it come out to be able to install this other piece you have to be very careful because if you don't use this vice grip the right way it can cut your fingers on the top or something can go wrong so please if you not a person um, handy please don't attempt to do this repair because you can get um, in an accident by cutting your fingers your hand or something worse um, as you saw the washer is still connected because this, this is the shocks but I recommend for you to disconnect the washer a lot of people said um, well you don't do it I mean if I don't do it because I do this every day and I know what I'm doing but if you don't know much about um, electrical and, and all that go ahead and disconnect the washer and turn off your water hoses at this point I'm doing the back shocks just tilt the washer to the front and have somebody to help you and I did the two in the back it's pretty simple I don't have that much videos for the back side but you know you get the idea once I did the front is basically the same thing you just tilt the washer back to do the front and you tilt the washer um, to the front to do the back I removed the, the two old shocks um, from the back as you see in this video and at this point I'm yes removing them but I don't have the whole of uh, details for the back because I have a very tight spot but like Kai said again it's pretty just follow the video and this video will help you to get through this repair by yourself or with somebody to help you just trying to get the back pieces and as I leave this piece the way I can show you guys when the vice grip gets stuck just use another pliers to release it from the hook and from the clamp so I'm doing the um, other piece on the back And like I say, this is the most dangerous part of the whole project because if that um, vice grip, you don't put it right, you can hurt yourself and we don't want that to happen. Remove the tape that is holding the lid, that means the top door, and do the same procedure. Go ahead and push it to the front and then push it back and it will fall in place. As you see, it only bounced once. This is the way it should work and go ahead and install the back screws it's the total of three screws two for the top panel to hold it in place and one for this cover at this point we are pretty much done and just make sure they are tight and push your washer back in place put your drain hose 
and the drain line and go ahead and open your water valves to complete this repair. Another tip, a lot of people has been saying, well, after I replace the shocks, it's still off balance a little. Make sure the whole cabinet, basically the whole metal box is not touching the floor. By this, I mean, go ahead and adjust all your four, four legs and make sure they are adjust correctly. Again, don't forget to comment in this video that help us to make more content and make more videos for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe again because we probably made more videos for you for another appliances. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.